I'm Chase Briscoe, driver number 14 Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. Today, I'm going to talk about Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton possibly swapping rides. But let's take a step back to Abu Dhabi in 2021, where Lewis Hamilton was racing Max Verstappen for the world title. Hamilton looking like at the end of the race, he's going to run away with it and a big margin. But Nicholas Latifi spun out and hit the wall and the safety car came out. Verstappen got fresh or soft tires. Uh, Michael Massey wanted to restart the race. They did have a one lap shootout. Hamilton on old hards against uh, fresh mediums for Verstappen. Verstappen got by and won the Grand Prix, but overall the championship. And that all season Mercedes were left with a sour taste in their mouths. And Lewis Hamilton was yet undecided on whether or not he wanted to return in 2022 and beyond and uh he made a late decision in late january which was in my opinion real late he should have made this a lot sooner because the time he made it in for one he was never around to help the development of the car in the off season and i believe that's why he struggled in 2022 obviously the zero side pod deal was not going to be good at all but with lewis hamilton maybe some of his advice during the off season could have helped him early on in the season and made them a little bit more competitive than they were. I ain't saying that's going to make them a championship contender in 2022. Hamilton helped out, but they would have been in a better position. Maybe would have had a better chance of chasing that Ferrari for P2 in the Constructors title. But though, 2023 rolls around. Ferrari and Charles Leclerc, their battle on having competitive cars for him is starting to go downhill again. And uh, Lewis Hamilton is losing faith in Mercedes. Mercedes has been promising them a competitive car for almost a year and a half now, and they've yet to produce that. Imola came around. Mercedes was expected to bring a big upgrade, but we saw what happened. They had unfortunately canceled the race, but though we all understand why. It was a terrible deal that took place in Imola, and uh, just prayers being sent out to all the people in that area that were affected by this uh, devastating flooding and uh, bad weather in that area. Uh, just terrible things that even think about. I couldn't imagine being right there. I, I, I really couldn't. But though Mercedes were expected to be a, bring a big time upgrade uh, to Imola, but obviously what happened, they had to move it to Monaco. So I believe Lewis Hamilton is not going to sign with Ferrari right away. And neither is Leclerc to Mercedes unless the, their issues keep on going. Uh, because I think Hamilton's going to give Mercedes until Silverstone to prove that they're going to get him a championship winning car uh, moving forward because he's already accepted the fact that the 2023 title is going to a Red Bull driver, whether or not that's Max Verstappen or Sergio Perez, more than likely Verstappen. But he's going to want to have a competitive car by the end of the year and uh, so they can have a good year in 24. But if they fail to produce that, he may go ahead and sign after Silverstone with Ferrari. I think Ferrari will take that uh, over Charles Leclerc. Because I believe Charles Leclerc is holding them back, believe it or not. Uh, Leclerc and Ferrari, ever since the 2020 season, he had a phenomenal 2020 season with Ferrari, or 2019 season with Ferrari. Uh, he had a win in Spa. He had a win in Monza. Back-to-back uh, -back Grand Prix. And next thing you know, 2020 rolls around. Ferrari's car is off the pace. They're real off the pace, actually, in the Constructors Battle. 2021 rolls around, they bring Carlos Sainz. Carlos Sainz beats Charles Leclerc in the driver's standing. 2022, they bring a car that suits Leclerc a little bit better than Sainz. 23 rolls around, they got a better car for Sainz. Sainz is outperforming Leclerc. And I believe it'll be a win-win for both sides. Ferrari, they're looking short-term. They're wanting to win right away. While Mercedes are kind of, they're lenient here. They're they're wanting to win Grand Prix, but they're wanting to do it in a fashion where they can be competitive year in, year out. And that, that means they're going to have to take a couple of seasons to sacrifice it, so be it. And I believe Charles Leclerc will be the driver to go there and uh, listen to Toto Wolf and listen to George Russell, his teammate. I believe they will do a good job. But the million-dollar question is, will Lewis Hamilton go to Ferrari and will Charles Leclerc go to Mercedes? I don't know. It's a complicated question. I believe, if anything, uh, George Russell is a not, driver to keep an eye on. 
I don't know, though, if Toto Wolf wants a good bond for me. I don't believe if I'm Toto Wolf, I want to keep Hamilton if all I got. But I'm not going to go ahead and get rid of George Russell for Charles Leclerc. That's not going to happen. George Russell is a promising young driver. He already missed him out of good rides in the Mercedes 2021 car and 2020 car by keeping him in a Williams and keeping Botas in the uh, other Mercedes. But, though, I just think they're not going to do that to Russell, as they shouldn't. Russell's a phenomenal driver, and uh, he should be the team's number one driver moving forward. Uh, but... I don't think it's going to happen. I think Hamilton's going to stay with Mercedes and Leclerc is going to stay with Ferrari. But who knows? I may be wrong. But please like and subscribe. And everybody comment down below what you think about what's going to go on here. I am very curious to know. But I'll see you folks tomorrow.